Let's, let's get it. Well, guys, I got something I want to show you guys. Uh, this oil pan. This is the. Uh, this is the same car that I did the rocker on, broken rocker on. Remember when I was hunting down those needle bearings? In fact, let me take this over here. All right, so here's the broken rocker arm that I took off. Yeah, remember this? All right, look look at this rocker arm real good. <laughs> There's no needle bearing inside the roller bearing, guys. It has fallen out. And remember I told y'all they had to end up somewhere. Sometimes they end up on the camshaft sensor as powdered metal shavings. Okay, that is magnetized, so it would catch some of it. But for the most part, the, the bulk of it would end up right here, guys. Yes. I have the oil pan off. I'm doing an oil pump on this same car. And here you go, guys. This is the needle bearings that come out of this rocker arm. All right, just so you know, so you guys get a sense of urgency as far as should you remove the oil pan in order to remove the garbage that came out of the broken, oh, out of the damaged valve train system. The good part about it, guys. Uh, well at least on this minivan it's not hard to remove the oil pan okay it's a two-piece oil pan setup but this part of the oil pan is real easy on this caravan all right so that's it guys that is the i want to make a nice good uh, thumbnail picture using this that is my shavings from this broken rocker arm that was found on this 36 engine and also guys you can see there's no way that these bearings needle bearings will come out of the oil drain plug so it doesn't matter if you change the oil look at that you see where the oil drain is located there's no way these needle bearings gonna work their way actually the needle bearings are sitting right here there's no way the needle bearings gonna work their way upwards to come out of this drain tube so you really have no choice <laughs> you almost have to remove the oil pan guys all right, I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. This stuff you want it done right because remember, I'm gonna say this again: you do not want this stuff traveling throughout your lubrication system. Imagine if one of these make it to the main bearing or rod bearing or down in the bottom. Well, it's already down in the bottom, but imagine if it make it somewhere it shouldn't get. All right, guys, let's do things right. All right, stay tuned, man. I got more to talk about.